Hello, my name is John Sansbury. I'm a student at Edison State College. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to write a program in Raptor that will ask a user to input three answers into the program. When we run the program, it will display his answers. Uh, you open up Raptor. This is the Raptor. This first box, the second box is called the Master Con Console. To start Raptor, click on the main tab, which will give you two ovals a start oval and an end oval. First off, we are going to input, which is the input box. You drag it over, left click, hold it, drag it below the start, and drop it. That will display your input box. Double click it, it will give you a prompt box. In the top prompt box, start with a quotation and type in enter your name and end it in a quotation. For the variables, we'll name it enter name, all one word with a capital N for name. When you do that, click done. We will make another input box. Left click, hold it, and drop it under your first input box. Double click it. <coughs> In your top box for the prompt, start with quotations. And we're going to display or ask it to enter your favorite color. And you end that in quotations. For the variable box, we'll just enter favorite color one word. Capitalize the C in color, then click done. <clears throat> we'll make another third input box. Double click it to open your prompts up. For the prompt, we're going to ask the user to enter their birth year. So start with quotations. and end it in quotations. In the variable box we'll name the input birth year capitalizing the B in birth year as one word. And that's without quotations on the second box. Now it's asked me to save it. We'll tell it to save it. We will name the program Answers Three Questions. By default, your computer always sets it in your documents. I'm going to set it to my desktop. It makes it a lot easier to find when you're working with some, a program. Now we're going to, the rectangle up top, which is your assignment box, we're going to need that. That calculates what your input stuff. So you grab that, left click it, drag it down to your third input box and drop it. Double click it to open it up. In the first box where it says set, we're going to type in your age, one word, capitalizing the A. In the bottom box where it says 2, we're going to type in the year that it is, 2012. 
we want to minus the user's birth year the birth year is one word capitalizing the Y that we used on the input variables when you do that click done now we have three inputs the calculations we're going to have to add three output box so left click the output drop it down double click it to open it up in the output box start with quotations we're going to type in hello put a colon and end of that command in uh, quotations. After that do a space, we're going to have to put plus space and the name of our input which was one word and our name with capitalizing the end. Then click done. We need another output box. Left click, drag it over underneath your first output open it up for the second output start with quotations we're going to type in your favorite color space plus space the original input was favorite color one word capitalizing the C and color click done. Now we'll do our third output. Left click the output, drop it underneath that <coughs> your second output, double click it to open it. Start with quotation. We're going to type in your age is end it in quotations plus name of the variable in the input box was your age one word capitalizing the A click done now on these boxes starting with the start oval you can right click and add comments to it so the start with the top one I'm going to enter my name hit enter to drop it down we're going to name the program which we'll call answers three questions click done and it adds your comment right click on your first input click comment and you just put these comments in to say what that you're doing in the program and it helps keep track so the first input is uh, enter user's name Second input, right click, click comment, enter user's favorite color. Click 
done. Third, in, third input box, right click, comment, enter, users, birth year. Click done. That made another box, so we want to delete that one. Okay, on your assignment box, that's where it does the calculation for the user's age. So right click, comment. We'll type in calculates. Users age. Click done on your output boxes. Right click, comment, displays, user's name. The second output is display user's favorite color. Click done. On your third output, right click, comment, and this displays the user's age. done. <clears throat> this is pretty much the program. We're going to run it to see if it works correctly. You go up to the top where it says execute to completion. You click the play button. It's going to go through. It brings up a box for the user. So I'll take my name in there, John Sansbury. Click OK and then I'll go to the second input brings up a box, favorite color, I'm going to type in blue, gives you the third input, and it's asking the user to enter birth year, I'm going to enter 1956, click OK, it goes through, it calculates it, and it finishes the program. If you look at the small box at the master console, it displays, hello John Sansbury, your favorite color is blue, your age is 56. So the, the Raptor ran correctly, and that ends this program.